Hey, what's up everybody? It is Joe with Unprofessionally Unboxed and luckily we call it Unprofessionally Unboxed because I am dirty, I am messy, we just got this new concrete patio that we put in, we just laid sod down over here, uh, but I am ready to set this up. This is the Intex Simple Spa. I'm ready for a hot tub in my backyard. <laughs> It seems that people like uh, my wife in the video, so she's gonna help us out here, open up the box and see what's inside. All right, so you open up the box here. Little fly over here. Uh, no box cutters on this box. Uh, we'll use a knife, you don't need to use a box cutter, right? So what is this? This is probably the pump. Yes, this is the pump. This is both the air pump to inflate the hot tub. Uh, this is also the heater. Um, so I'll put this to the side real quick. I think I lost the sandal. <laughs> Unprofessional on box, right? Uh, this right here is the pool cover or the hot tub cover. Move that to the side. And at the bottom, if you look in the box over here, is the actual hot tub itself. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to stick my fingers in there, so I'm gonna just turn it upside down. All right, let's uh, open up the hot tub first. Remember, I'm not using a, a box cutter. I'm using a broken kitchen knife. Unsafe. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't put a hole in it. That's probably the, the, the complaints. Oh yeah, there's a hole in my hot tub. People are opening it with box cutters and knives when they're not supposed to. Extra piece of cardboard. Notice, caution, do not sit on the wall. Wall will not support your weight, causing a loss of water. Uh, most of these Intex hot tubs show that you can sit on the side of it. I see a lot of videos like that. But this is the like basic brand. So we'll test, it says don't do it, but we're gonna test it out anyway. Here. I thought these were sturdy enough for you to sit on the wall. Well, uh, if I didn't say at the beginning of the video, this is the simple spa. This is the basic. This is Intex's basic spa, which is a, they say four person. We're going to test that out too because every video I see, I never see two people sitting in a hot tub at the same time. So we're going to test out. When people in there, I'm going to test out if you can see, sit on the wall. Um, and it's also 100 bubbles instead of 140, which is the pure spa, which is more bubbles, which isn't a big deal to me. If you look over here, this has like a, like a netting on the outside of it. I actually like that for the cheap version of one of these bubble spas, these inflatable spas. I like that it's got like this mesh net on the outside. So I got my wife unfolding it a little bit just to see the size of it. Um, yeah. Um, the netting is separate, so I guess when you inflate it, it'll just kind of sit into the netting. And then over on this side, you have your, your hookups. So you want to make sure this is on the side that you're going to have your power at. Let's look in the cover package because I think there's supposed to be something for the ground over here so we can put it underneath yeah. the spa. This might be it. Well, this is the, oh, this is the, cover. This is the inflatable cover, the top. It goes all the way around. I immediately like the, the material. It's kind of like a pleather. That material feels kind of premium. This is so much nicer than the one they give you, like the pool one. <laughs> you know, the pool covers, they give you those cheap pool Oh, yeah, they just sit right on top of it. Yeah. So, yeah, this is just the top to keep out debris and to hold on to the temperature when you're not using it. Uh, maybe in here is the ground cover then, because I could have swore that they said there was going to be a ground cover, but I could be a liar. All right, so here's our last chance to find out if the cover is in there. But I think that's just the, the heater. This is the pump. 
and the pump, yeah. Well, it's got some other stuff in there. Ah, oh, there it is. Woo! Those are the filters. Oh, it's like a bubble map. You kind of want to like pop it, but not because. <laughs> Be careful with that knife. You know, pop these bubbles. Okay. Let's get it all out and try to set it up. Did you knock the box over? Yeah. I know I was joking around before, but this is literally just bubble wrap with like a thick liner on the other side or a tarp no, on the other side. No, I just want to sit here and pop it. <laughs> Do not pop it. We need this to cushion our asses in there. In case you're wondering why we have it <laughs> set up like in this little corner right here, uh, we have a one and a half year old and we're going to put a little 10 foot Intex pool over there. That'll be another video. That'll probably be the next video. So subscribe if you want to check that out. So we're going to have a little hot tub section over there and we're going to have a little 10 foot pool intex pool over there this is a 16 foot uh square concrete patio um i did a little engineering on the paper ran some numbers and like it's dirty um it'll fit it'll fit in here i hope if my math is right so these are 120 volt gfi plugs um they say don't use extension cords but i mean seriously it, if you got it in your yard really who's got a power outlet close to there so um what i what i did was i got a um, 10 gauge extension cord to go from the side of the house uh, on the other side to go over here and then there is a gfi outlet on the outside of my house so this could trip or the other one could trip but i have a new gfi outlet on the side of the house that has its own uh breaker downstairs in the basement so this should be sufficient enough for both the pool and the hot tub here, especially with that 10 gauge extension cord and not uh, cause any problems. So here's what I did with it, with the 10 gauge wire, just ran it along there. I'm not gonna keep this on the ground. Uh, a little bit later today, I'm gonna grab some stuff to kind of wrap it or hang it from the house. So that way it's not laying on the ground the whole time, but it's coming from the side of the house over there. All right, let's inflate this bad boy. All right, I'm ready to inflate, so I'm gonna lift these up on the side there. There's a little latch over here, and then you hook up the hose that came in a box right here to that. And then there's a little screw valve cover over here on the far, far left side. You pop that in there, and then you hit the bubble button. All right, another idiot move by me. I was like, how's the net gonna get around there? Uh, yeah, <laughs> make sure that the uh, the outlets are through the net first and then start inflating it. Yeah, let's get back to inflating it. Okay, so a couple of things to note here. Um, this locks the hose in place. Make sure that the opening is to the actual machine, otherwise no air will come out. Um, don't block this part. It'll heat up. Um, yeah, uh, I might or might not have done that, but don't do that. And uh, make sure that your holes are in the right spot because, I mean, if we inflated this and this was off just a little bit, I wouldn't have been able to screw it on. And then you have to deflate it a bit, and then you got to pump it up again. So just make sure that this, I mean, these aren't too bad. This has got to be in the right spot. So we got this inflated. This took about about like five, six minutes. Um, yeah, now we're ready to uh, get the filters in place. All right, so these are the filter units. It's got a little screw on the back there. Um, you can unscrew the top, clean out the filters as you need to or replace them. Probably just gonna clean them as much as I can until uh, they go really bad and then replace it. But yeah, they go on the two bottom. It's a difficult to screw on there, but I'll get it. All right, so we're finishing it up by just screwing these on tight. And I'll get them on too tight. And then let's get this uh, air bubble 
valve screwed on. I probably need two hands. Oh, oh there we go. Let's put that on. If I turn it the right way, it might actually go on. Lucky Lucy. Hey, 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 hey. I'm looking, through, I'm looking through my phone, Tina. Quit insulting me. We'll close this up so no air comes out. So it's all going right into those hundred little dots around there for the bubbles. Yeah, so uh, I think that's it. I'm going to fill it up. And then hopefully tonight uh, we're going to sit in it and you'll see two. I don't want to say full grown. I'm 5'4". She's 5'3". See how two short people look in there. See if we can get a third in there. Uh, since this is an unboxing, I just wanted to note what this little baggie comes with. It comes with like some valve cover, so that way water doesn't come out while you're fixing stuff. This is to get the uh, one of the pieces out of the side in case you need to replace it. Um, key tightener for another piece. Yeah, it's got some test strips if you want to ch test the pH levels. Um, some extra O-rings. And then it's got this cute little... Uh, ball here instead of like a floater for your chlorine or your bromine we're going to use chlorine bromine has a little bit less of a smell um but it doesn't keep the water as clear we're just gonna break up some three inch uh, chlorine tablets that we have yeah we don't care about the chlorine smell too much we'll throw that in there we got cleaned up nice and refreshed i don't i don't have dirt all over my hands anymore we cleaned the yard we put the baby in the shower i got well, <laughs> clean up the baby because he was dirty i was dirty i cleaned up i'm not getting into the to the spa the hot tub all dirty the wife got cleaned up the baby's in the crib now now it's time to get into the spa it's not it's not even anywhere near the 104 degrees but we're impatient people <laughs> and we're definitely going to try this out while the baby's sleeping so hopefully it's not too chilly it was 60 degrees the water when we put it in earlier so we'll just go see what the temperature is now at about 5 30 or so it was 60 degrees it's like 10 30 now and it's 77 that's like it's like room temperature water it's not going to be the greatest experience but yeah i gotta jump in i will say these clips are great. Those intake, if you hear my neighbors cursing and yelling, I apologize for that. They're crazy neighbors. I think that these um, buckles should be on the Intex pools with the pool covers also. Because we have those Intex pools. And those things blow over real easy. Do this over here. Not too bad. Not okay. too bad, yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's uh, let's jump in and see what it's like to have two people in there and possibly. Well, let's do the test. Can we sit on it? Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, you can't sit on the edge of it like you can the other ones. My ass went right, right into the water. So this ain't one of the. I guess they're a little bit wider on the pure spa, and then a little bit harder, so you can sit on it. So do not sit on this one. Oh, we should have had like a little bucket to wash our feet before we go in, but we don't. Uh, so taking a taking a chance. Yeah, this ain't bad. Ooh, the bottom's nice and soft. It's a little cold for it being a hot tub. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a spa. It's not a hot tub. It's a spa. Okay. Ooh, the you feel that? It's like a it's like soft on the bottom. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Okay. Like Alright. Let's go on here. And let's hit that bubble. Yeah, this kind of spills over, don't it? <laughs> don't mind the uh, COVID haircut or non haircut for the COVID. Um, the bubbles. Yo, I mean, that's, that's all the views right there. Uh, the bubbles feel good. 
Um, yeah. Yeah, this is um, kind of high. I, we, we filled it up to where it says for the bottom line, not the, not even the max line. And it's going over. It's going up to the top line. But I will say that three people can fit in here easily. Yeah. One, we could say one there. One there. Four can you, I think even four short people like us. Yeah, if you if you got some close friends, you could do four. <laughs> It went up a degree. It got uh, 78. Usually they say when the bubbles are on, it gets a little bit cooler. But definitely, definitely worth having this summer. Worth picking up. Well, yeah, when it's nice and... Hold on. People probably can't hear us with the bubbles. Probably like, hey, shut those bubbles off when you guys are talking. But yeah, this is definitely worth it. Man, this is, this is going to be the go-to during the summer this is this is social distancing at like a max right here so soft on the bottom little floater i thought it was going to be a big old floater it's got a nice little floater over there um yeah the filters are going yeah when the baby goes to sleep this is our spot um yeah i would definitely recommend picking this up if you are thinking about it this is the cheapest of the cheap this is the the basic intex hot tub whirlpool um whatever you want to call it spa um yeah this is this is the basic and i think it does a really good job okay so what do you lose out when you go with the basic you don't get to sit on the side it's 100 jets instead of 140 jets and that's really it yeah so yeah i mean if you want to save some money and go with the basic i would definitely recommend it um what was that it looks like the it, it farted for a moment all right so thanks for checking us out if you like this video go ahead and hit subscribe the um uh, we've got a couple accessories for this that'll be on the channel also we got some headrests we're gonna unbox those we have uh some seats oh yeah the seats some seats uh, we'll unbox those and uh, maybe we'll give an update later during the summer let you know how it's holding up alright guys thanks see you guys next time